I'm going to show you what I think is the most interesting radio you've never heard of. This is the VGC VRN75. Now, if this radio looks familiar to you, it's because it is sold as the GMRS Pro, a GMRS radio. But I was able to find that the manufacturer under the name VGC makes a 440 version. And so this is their amateur radio version, which um, includes GMRS channels, I believe. But it's intended for amateur radio and therefore has APRS built in. So this has built-in GPS, uh, GPS antenna on top here, and built-in APRS. If you're into APRS, this might be the best radio you could possibly own uh, I'm not. It's something that I own because I was interested in the messaging option, and I'm going to cover that. But what you're looking at here is the radio connected to a phone and the map version of the app. I just did a factory reset on this, so there are no repeater uh, channels put in. Um, <clears throat> there's a reason for that that I won't get into. So what we have here is... A very basic display. It will tell you the name of the channel that you program, and it will tell you whether or not you're on GPS, and then if you are, uh, if you do have GPS active, it will tell you the temperature, the GPS coordinates, and your elevation as well. If you're in motion, it will show miles per hour. I think you can switch that to metric, but it will actually track your motion as well. And so that connects by, by Bluetooth to the app, which is simply called HT. So one of the interesting things about this is that you can talk by using the phone alone, setting the radio in perhaps a better location for transmit to APRS, just sort of get it out of the way or get it up high, and use your phone for all of the information. For, for example, if I push the uh, microphone button on the map, this, this radio transmitted on this frequency. Now, you have to pair this. Um, relatively simple to do. When you open up the menu, these are your channel inputs. You can program each block as a repeater, uh, I believe by just holding on it, edit channel. How this works is you give it a title, you give it the uh, TX and RX frequency. Um, this is a little bit different, it looks like, than I'm accustomed to. Um, I, do, I just did a factory reset, and that must mean that the firmware isn't... Oh, here it is. Okay, I apologize. So here's the full, full menu. Rather than deal with offsets, you just put in your title and your RX and TX. Uh, CTSS, you can do all that. Uh, you can put the radio into mute. Uh, you can allow scan. A lot of features here that you control through the app. You'll notice the radio itself has no keypad, and that is a disadvantage, um, in my opinion, for my uses. Now, uh, this radio is really intended to be used with the app, and you can see up top here, there's the app icon showing that it is connected. So it's really meant to be set somewhere, um, then allow your phone to connect by Bluetooth, and essentially your phone becomes your radio, as long as you're and Bluetooth range. You can put in quite a few repeaters into here, uh, or simplex. You can turn off FM radio. It does have an FM radio built in, so I can play the FM radio through my phone via the radio, the transmitter. Don't know what talk around is. Honestly, don't care. You can select whether you want dual watch or dual scan, so I've selected that, and you can see here that I've now got two different A and B uh, frequencies. This is 440 only, so uh, they're both for, uh, 430 and 431. They're, this is a 440 only radio. It's not a dual band. Uh, you can set it for scan, and it will scan. Right now, it's just scanning simplex, simplex frequencies, 25 kilohertz at a time. Uh, I'll turn that off. Now, if you're into APRS, and that is kind of the intention of this radio, you can use it to broadcast to the APRS system. So this will can find an APS uh, node or whatever they call it. I'm not into APRS. Um, and so you can transmit right to an APRS receiver and get into the APRS system here. Now, 
You can also use the app to be connected to the APRS server and be shown uh, the, the map. The APRS map will show where you are just because your phone's logged in. But you can do it with just the radio. Now the reason I bought this radio is because I had the GMRS Pro. And the GMRS Pro allowed you to send messages. And so if we go over here, you have the option to send messages. And I thought that was the coolest thing uh, for for GMRS, but uh, as it turns out, those GMRS radios are sending APRS protocols. I don't even know if they're allowed to do that, but they do. So with some digging, I found the ham radio version, and here we go. So you have your message, your members, and your map, and the reason this looks complicated is because there is um, access to the APRS server directly on your phone, so you don't have to have necessarily the radio connected for that. You can use your phone to send messages over the network. Uh, or you can use your phone to send messages over the antenna. There are different kind of messages. If I go down here to the microphone, it tells me I can send a voice message, so I can record a voice mes message and then have it transmit. I can input a Morse code signal, have it transmit. I can input text, have it transmit. I can input DTMF, have it transmit. Input a picture and have it transmit. So this does all of those things. You can even send pictures. My main interest was text, so if I put in text, and I have this on, uh, I have this on low power. I'm going to hit text here, and radio went into uh, it went into its uh, broadcast mode, its uh, key mode, and sent the message to the APRS network, which is not going to appear uh, because I'm not uh, on the system, the APRS system. I don't really have an APRS account, and so I'm not really showing up uh, in here. Now, I don't think I can reach an APRS uh, node from here or whatever they call those. So you have messaging, and then you have members in the network. You can, via their server, set up member channels like you could with Zello, and you can communicate directly with people in your channel, Zello style, from your radio, in which case your radio basically becomes a wireless microphone for your phone because these members are going to be managed through an online server. But it's cool when you go to the map, uh, you can input messages or transmit right through your speaker like I could be here on the map I can hit transmit talk to my phone it'll go through the radio um, with typical APRS things you can choose different uh, functionalities and features um, you can track uh, communications on the network you can list communications on the network so it's a it I would say this is an APRS radio now as I prepared to make the video I'm I was not really into this radio I've had it sitting around unfortunately I threw it in a box with some other radios. It's got a scratch or two on the screen. But the more I messed with it, the more I think it's it's actually kind of cool uh, for what it does, it, APRS. And maybe I'll, I'll give APRS another try. Haven't had a whole lot of luck with it because, honestly, there's not that many um, APRS nodes in the area. I can't reach them with a handheld. Uh, but they're out there. There's weather stations and stuff like that. All right, so if you're a hiker or a camper, really good radio for the APRS functionality and backup functionality because if for some reason the APRS functionality fails, if you still have LTE, you can get your position through LTE onto the APRS map so people can, can track you. So it's kind of cool in both respects. You do have to have an APRS password to get into the system. Um, but beyond that, it's a 440 radio. Uh, it functions as one. And if you can set that aside, and if you're happy with that, if you're happy with it, this is an app-driven phone, I'm sorry, an app-driven radio, then it's great. It's a great radio. The battery is really good. It's USB-C, uh, channels A and B, but, you know, no keypad. That's all handled by the phone, which is, you know, fine and good. Um, much more capable radio than most handhelds because you can do messaging, you can do Morse code through it, now, DTMF, you can do uh, all these things you probably couldn't do with another handheld. So now I regret throwing it into a box. It's called VGC and I bought this well over a year ago so I'm not even sure the people who make this still produce it. Again it was released as the GMRS Pro first and then they sold it uh, overseas. I had to get this imported 
they sell it overseas as a amateur radio. And when I received it, it only had the GMRS frequencies open. I had to get in touch with the company and ask them to unlock my radio so that I could use it on the amateur bands. I gave them my call sign. I told them I just bought the radio, showed them the receipt, and they told me how I can unlock this. So that is something you would have to do. Now, I'm going to show you how that works. And it may have changed, but what I needed to do to unlock it is go into the settings for the the radio here. You have device settings. I think it was on device settings. I was told to click on firmware 10 times, maybe 20, but at least 10. Um, and by clicking on firmware at least 10 or 20 times or however many it was, it opened up the full spectrum for 440. So now I have GMRS and 440 on this thing. But that was um, something that needed to be unlocked. I don't know with firmware upgrades um, if that still stands. In fact, now that I think about it, I just did a firmware upgrade. Uh, I'm sorry, I did a factory reset, and which means this is probably locked again. So let's see. If I go to firmware, that doesn't seem to be working. Let's see if I can get this thing going again. Was it general? What was it? Was it the battery? Are you sure you want to configure this device to factory test mode? Yes. Mm, so I clicked battery. Uh, wireless PTT power was uh, that, that little window there. I clicked that 10 times. And that should have unlocked uh, 440. I believe that's how it was done. So when it said factory mode, um, it just opens up everything. Um, GMRS and, and, and otherwise. So, I, you know, interesting radio. I... I don't know. I have a lot of stuff I don't use. Uh, if I was into APRS, this is probably the best APRS radio you can get. Absolutely, hands down. I know that like you can get Yesu and ICOM higher-end radios that have APRS built in, but they also got their proprietary digital going on and all that stuff. This is about a $150 radio, and I think I had to get it through eBay because it wasn't available on Amazon about a year ago. Definitely worth it if you're into that kind of thing. And just like I said, making this video reminded me sort of how cool this is, um, that it operates this way. So maybe I'll keep it around. Maybe I'll get into APRS, give it another try. But this is probably a radio you've never seen before. If you've seen the GMRS Pro and wondered, man, wouldn't that be great to have that in amateur radio? It exists. It's called the VGC. So I hope this was uh, interesting to you and helpful. And as always, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. I hate saying that out loud, but uh, my channel is almost at the point where I have 500 subscribers. It'd be great if I could get more, and I'll keep making videos like this for you. Thanks a lot.